there's a lot of discussion around whether no code is the appropriate term. Xano has a blog article documenting the next iteration of visual development. Flutterflow goes a step further with their video called No Code is Trash. So what's my take? It doesn't really matter. And here's why. Software vendors care about the categorization of their software for one of two reasons. One is they want to be seen as unique or different or special from their competitors, so they create their own category, which gives them their own niche to operate in. That makes it easy to be able to say, oh, you other platforms are no code and we're visual development platforms. And the other way to look at it is, if you're already the top dog in a given category, then you want to defend that category. You say, we are the best no-code platform. But in addition to software vendors, practitioners also care about the labeling. So whether you're a freelancer or an agency, you might have an idea of what you want your space to be called, because that's how you brand yourself. That's how you market yourself. Are you a no-code developer? Are you a developer? Are you a visual developer? What do you call that? But in all this dialogue between the software vendors and the practitioners, the group that doesn't really care about this is the users. And so the users are individual people. They're working at companies. They're the end clients. They're the people actually utilizing the software. And nine times out of 10, those people, those users don't really care about the categorization. The truck dispatcher I talked to today was looking at different transportation management systems. They've already tried to use off the box software that didn't work for them. And they wanted us to be able to create something that was more tailored for their needs. Do they care if it's no code or low code or visual development? No, they just want software that's going to work for them. So as we have this conversation, don't lose the forest through the trees. Cause after all, we're really focused on creating business solutions. Does the naming really matter?